Okay. Here we go. In Virginia, my dear, my darling. He don't don't on me. But in a Norfolk bar, he stole my heart. He's the finest man I ever did see. I knew what the idea of love was, but nothing could have prepared me for what I have with you. I now know what love is. It's the most powerful and beautiful thing I have ever felt. <sighs> love to me is the fact that after all of our time together, I can still say every time I see you, my heart beats a little bit faster. Those butterflies still appear in my stomach, and I'm instantly happier than I was the moment before. So, Becca, you are not only my best friend, you're the sister I never really wanted, but never realized I needed. I'm so thankful the universe brought us together because I couldn't imagine my life without you. You have made me who I am today. Sometimes I forget that you weren't born into our family. But regardless, we accept you and love you with open arms. You are like the missing piece to the puzzle we didn't know was unsolved. We are so blessed to have you and Jake as a part of the family. I'm so happy you have found someone as quirky, sensitive, kind, and selfless as Jake to spend the rest of your life with. It is an honor to stand by both of you today as you start this new journey. Congratulations, and I love you both with all that I am.
Rebecca. I want to start by telling you that I love you. I know you hear this every day, multiple times a day from me, but from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, and I just want you to know that I mean it with all my heart. I grow to love you more and more every single day that we spend together. And just when I think there's no way that I can love this girl any more than this, somehow, some way, you always manage to do just that. Make, leave, make me love you more and more. I swear to you that I will always love you, no matter how many times I get woken up in the middle of the night to kill a spider that I can't even see. <clears throat> when I was younger, I didn't really know what to expect going into relationships, or what love really was. I knew what the idea of love was, but nothing could have prepared me for what I have with you. I now know what love is. It's the most powerful and beautiful thing I have ever felt. <sighs> love to me is the fact that after all of our time together, I can still say every time I see you, my heart beats a little bit faster. Those butterflies still appear in my stomach and I'm instantly happier than I was the moment before. Love is how you make me strive to be a better man every day. <clears throat> and the fact I wouldn't be the person I am today without you. <sighs> Love is how I can't wait to start a family with you. And how I cannot wait to see you love and care for the beautiful children we will have the same way that you love and care for me. Love is how I know that even when we are old and gray, I will still be able to look you in those gorgeous eyes of yours and tell you that you are the best thing to ever happen to me. I can't promise you that I'll always be the perfect, or I will always be perfect, but I promise you that I'll always try my hardest to be. I vow to always be by your side, to love you unconditionally, to be your shoulder to cry on, to put your happiness above all else, and to be your best friend. I vow to be the best man I can be for you, to have all the patience in the world when you frustrate me, to care for you no matter the circumstances. Finally, I vow to just keep swimming with you <laughs> forever. You always ask me what I want for the future and I always tell you I have no idea. I've never thought about the future, I've always thought about the now because tomorrow is never promised. When I ask the question in return, you always say things like a fast bike, a project car, or a man cave. But when you got down on one knee and asked me to marry you, it was the first time I thought about my future with someone else. Which is so weird because it's just been me for so long. We've been together for six and a half years, but the future was never promised. The future has always been terrifying for me, but I've never had, w I've never had one place to call home. My childhood was insane, but you've stuck by my side through it all, and now I have more family than I can count, and I wouldn't want it any other way. You've accepted me for all my flaws, and you've accepted my family for who they are, and that's more than I could ever ask for. You are an amazing uncle to our niece, and you'll even be a better father someday. So today I stand here and I answer your question. What do I want for the future? I want a big house with a huge yard for all of our children, and I want a lot of children. I want a life full of happiness. I want to be surrounded by friends and family. I want to have more grandchildren than we can even count. And I want to grow old with you. I want it all and I especially want you. I promise you will never question my love for you. I promise the future with me. I promise tomorrow. It's no longer just been me and it hasn't been for a long time. I just never realized it, but you always have. Now it's us and it always will be us. I love you. Now we can just keep swimming together for the rest of our lives. <laughs> By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I gladly present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jake and Rebecca Antrim.
kitchen on a star I first met Jake back in seventh grade. I was moving over to Union County, and back then I was unbelievably shy. <laughs> um, you could also say I was pretty quiet and pretty innocent until I met Jake. Um, <laughs> all the staff at the school knew this, so they told us when I was coming over that they're going to introduce me to this um, very smart, very well behaved, and high-ranking student. The time back in high school, um, it was back during one of our archery meets that Becca, <laughs> her and one of our mutual friends, she approached me and asked me if I could introduce her to Jake sometime. And <laughs> well, we ended up getting it lined up. I mentioned to Jake that somebody wanted to meet him. One of our archery matches, she went down there, introduced herself, and here we are today. Um, just, uh, Congratulations to Jake and Becca for becoming the new Mr. and Mrs. Antrim.
lights and city lights I see it all and I wanna fall Deep got me in the dice Feeling some kind of way Here in the moonlight I see it all and I'm gonna fall Oh What if I break? What if I break the rules? Everything, all that I feel for you Becca, will you place your left hand flat on the table? Yeah, your left hand. All right, Jake, place your hand on top of hers. No, your right one. All right, I want you to enjoy this moment, Jake, because this is, it's the first and last time in your marriage that you'll ever have the upper hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I love you. All right. And uh, I got one more joke. This is uh, directly at you, Jake. Okay. All right. So for the rest of my speech, I am going to keep it short and not funny, just like Jake. <laughs> All right. I just want to thank everyone for coming tonight and, and uh, celebrating Mr. and Mrs. Antrim. And uh, I'd like to raise a toast to them. And uh, let's all have a good night. <laughs>